Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Joy Fay and I'm an artist and teacher and I'm here to help you develop all your skills and technique and creativity in your painting. So if that's what you're looking for, then you're in the right place. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back, that's fantastic. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm on my way to 10,000 uh, subscribers, so do press the uh, button and like the video if you do. So today, I'm, I'm going to be working on a very interesting project on intuitive painting. And this is tied together with a new course that I'm putting together called Art Connection, where I'm going to take you step by step through a process of um, really coming from a space inside to create um, your own expression and bring that out on a painting. Now, some of you might have seen these two paintings that I've worked on before um, on a video, and I'll put those links uh, below. And really, I'm going from there to go through the whole process of this um, wonderful way of painting and building your confidence and finding your own expression, which is what we all want. We want that satisfaction of marrying together what we feel onto a canvas or a paper. So <laughs> without further ado, let me take you into the studio and we can get started um, on this great project. So I'm in the studio and one of the things I want to um, reiterate, I'm always talking about this on my videos, is before you start painting, you want to get into the right zone and the right mindset to your painting. So I always find it helpful to take a few deep breaths, feel about how you're feeling and you know move into that space because when you're doing your intuitive painting, you really want to feel that connection. You want to be in the flow. Our, our genius, if you like, is in the flow, is allowing ourselves to paint, to draw, to come with the colours that we feel that are important to us at that time. They obviously change as we go through a painting. But when we begin, it's a really good idea to take some breaths, relax, even have some nice music on if you if you like. I, I love uh, painting to music <laughs> and um, get into the zone before you begin and then um, feel what are the colours that you want, what are the tools that you, you like to use, go with all those feelings, that intuitive feeling, go with it, don't stop it, don't think about it too much, just feel what am I, what am, what are my colours today, are they reds, are they blues, are they pinks, are they purples? What, whatever they might be, go with that because something inside you is telling you that and that's about your creativity and that's where we're heading for. Okay, so I'm going to get in the zone and I'm going to start. So what I'm using for this project is uh, two paintings that I've had around the studio for a while and I thought I would um, use these as a base. And you can do this with any of your old paintings. It's great. I, I actually love doing this because it gives you a foundation to start with without looking at a blank canvas. But obviously you can do it on a blank canvas if you want. So um, I'm going to begin by um, just uh, putting some gesso on them and um, freeing up. And you can see I'm, I'm not going to cover the whole uh, picture. I like some of the colours underneath, but they, you know, they might disappear. But this is a great way to, um, you know, start connecting to your picture, start connecting to your um, feeling of your creativity. So the energy changes <laughs> on how I've actually put the gesso on these two paint paintings, which you will notice later on, which is very interesting. And, you know, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the energy. We're looking for that um, translation of our feelings into our uh, painting. But now I've added some black gesso doing similar thing and um, playing with some textures on this. You know, again, it's all about experimentation and um, 
seeing what might happen and you're just playing, you know. Uh, you can see very much that that's what I'm doing. There's no rhyme or reason at the moment. I'm just following my feeling and, you know, if you like, connecting the dots in me. <laughs> um, and I feel that, you know, this is a very important part of it. You know, you might say it looks an awful mess, but th that's fine. All this is going to be covered up. This is just you building up um, your feeling state, where you want to go with, with the painting, how you're feeling, um, what are those feelings saying to you, and letting it evolve. You know, this is really part of the, the, the process of letting it evolve. I'm here just stamping it out with some uh, kitchen roll. Again, getting some nice textures and, you know, bringing up some of the things from underneath. And, you know, you will find this, you will find this too when you um, actually do this process. It will allow you to um, explore different possibilities. And it, it's really fun <laughs> because things happen that are so unexpected and, um, are very kind of enlightening to you, really. Um, I'm fascinated as I'm progressing with this, you know, as I progress with this painting, as you'll see uh, towards the end, how different that they can be, even though I'm working, you know, on both of them at the same time. The emotion is very different. Now I'm working on uh, getting my palette together. I'm using my wet palette uh, which is um, just a tray with a cloth that I wet and then cooking paper on the top, wax paper. And it helps me keep the uh, paints uh, dry for a very, uh, usable, sorry, for a very long time. And um, I use this a lot because of the, the weather here is hot and the paints can dry up very quickly. So I've got a nice palette of some different blues. Um, primary blue, I've got ultramarine, I've got teal, uh, black, um, yellow and yellow okra. Here are some of the tools that I'm going to use, briars and sponges and different um, brushes. So I'm getting all that ready and I've also got some very nice um, uh, oil pastels uh, gallery, the name is of those. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put that in the information below and also some um, really nice markers. So here's the, um, here's the painting to, again, explore and experiment with. I'm now just going over with my China marker. Again, all this is building up the layers and you can have a process of how you build the layers up. Um, so I've used them, the China marker. I'm now using some charcoal and just feeling my way you know, I haven't got any expectations at this point. It's just playing, <laughs> uh, enjoying the process, seeing what will happen if I've just sprayed some water on here and um, <clears throat> allowing the thing to um, speak to me and, and for me to respond back to the painting. And I think that's kind of the interesting part about it is to be in touch with how you respond. So I'm going in with some white paint. <clears throat> Again, freeing up, covering a lot of the stuff that I've done, but you know, it gives the painting some substance and um, history, <laughs> if you like, um, and helps you explore. I had a real feel that I wanted to use a briar on this painting. And it's a wonderful way of actually blending colors together and uh, scratching into it, doing all kinds of things, um, you know, letting go, allowing yourself just to explore yourself and your own creativity and how you feel. And it changes as you go. You know, you'll feel this one minute and you'll feel that the next. And that's all absolutely fine. <laughs> I don't want you to be afraid of just going for it because it can take you in so many directions that are unexpected. Uh, you know, trying different things, 
uh, ex exploring different possibilities and seeing how you feel. What do you like? What are you enjoying? So you can see now I've changed again and I'm doing some, you know, interesting marks or shapes over the over the painting. I mean, none of it is is, um, you know, I'm not looking for perfection in any way shape or form I'm going with a feeling so I'm adding um, the okra I love okra and blue together whether this will stay there I don't know but you can see I'm having fun just creating and it's in this creation that you start to discover the things that you really love and the things that you really don't and that is really so important to developing your own expression in your painting. An intuitive painting allows you to do that. And you know, sometimes people ask me, what's the definition of intuitive painting? You know, it's process led, it's, it's a spontaneous approach where you just follow your instincts rather than your preconceived plan. There are no rules. Um, there's no right or wrong. It's about expressing your emotions and connecting with the moment and trusting the process. You know, let go of control and trust the process of your own creation. You can see, you know, how much this is changing as we go. How it will unfold eventually, I don't know. <laughs> we will see, won't we? Um but that is that the, those ideas to have in mind, let go, let the process take you, respond to the canvas. <clears throat> um, you know, you don't have an expectation. You want to enjoy the process, get some satisfaction, and it's intriguing because so many different things might occur without you, you know, without any any preconceived idea at all. You might add that later um, and, you know, see what happens. You can see now I'm developing this. You know, it took me quite a while. I was, I was working on this painting for quite some time. You can change it round, see what it looks like at different um, angles and um, go again with the flow. So I'm spraying some, some water on here to do some different things. You know, it's, it's such a wonderful process and so many wonderful things can happen. And allowing yourself to um, experience that is part of, if not, all of the joy of painting. <laughs> and you can see as as you go what you might add, what colors you feel you want to go with and um, enjoy it. So um, it's taking a little bit of shape now. There are things happening. So I'm now going to go back to the other one. And there's a whole different feeling, isn't there, in this one? And the textures have come up very, very interestingly. Uh, you know, I've sprayed water on here and just before the paint was drying. So I've got some really interesting textures and you might try that yourself. And again, going back into it, um, <clears throat> using um, a, a brush and a sponge and <laughs> a roller and all kinds of things. And you'll see as I progress with this one, how different it is in feeling to the other one which fascinated me. You'll see where I come to, and I, I'll talk about that um, when we're at that stage. So you need to stick around to see. <laughs> but um, it, although I'm working on the two paintings with the same colors, how different the feeling is. And I really had to think about that myself um, to see how, how come, how come these two pictures that I'm working on together are turning out so differently in feeling. I did come to a conclusion, <laughs> so I'll tell you later. But um, it's a completely different feel, isn't it, to, to, to the other one. And, you know, you'll probably find this too 
and ask yourself the same questions. Then I had this feeling of taking this paper and using it, um, if you like, as uh, as a sort of a stencil in a way, to get some interesting lines um, and contrasts in the picture. Um, I haven't done this for a, for a while, but it came into my mind to do it, so um, I followed the feeling and uh, went into it, and this is what's occurring. Now, you know, um, I mentioned right at the beginning of the video about my new course coming up, um, a taster course called Art Connection, but I still do have my uh, free mini course, which is still available, where I go through the, the beginning processes of doing abstract paintings. And it's a wonderful uh, way to you know, build your confidence and uh, find a new process, give you some new ideas. So if you would like to do that, the information and the link is in the description below. And <laughs> um, when I've got the new, the new course up and running, you'll get that one for free too. So you'll get double whammy. <laughs> so sign up for the free mini course and um, then you'll get the new course when it comes as well. So back to the painting, and I just want to um, mention why it's such a good idea to work on two paintings at the same time. It keeps the flow going and it stops you getting stuck. And also it gives you drying time in between and you can keep that flow happening. So you move from one to the other and you've seen me do this, you know, as we're progressing in this uh, video. So working on two paintings or more, I, I really um, recommend it. Um, you know, swapping between the two, you're responding to the progress of each and giving yourself time to step back and assess. So now I am myself going to assess where I'm up to with these paintings. I'm about the halfway mark. So as you can see, they're both, you know, very different and um, a, a different feeling. So I want to kind of see if I can join something together with it. But when I look at it, um, I have actually found two figures in here, which I've drawn in an outline over and I'm, I'm finding that relationship in that painting very interesting. Now, you know, you might want to define shapes like this in your paintings, or you might want to keep it completely abstract. Um, but in this one, I've got, I found four figures, <laughs> and, and I'm really interested in how that has, how that's coming together. So now, um, at this stage, I'm thinking I might like to add some collage. And I've been through my stash and I've got some photocopies of various paintings that I've done. Now, in my course, I'm going to show you exactly how you can work like this using what you've got as collage or making your own. But the colours, if I'm having a look here, the colours are going to be uh, just right in here. So I'm going to have a play around with that. And they, these colours will actually link up then, hopefully, <laughs> the two paintings. But it's good to take a step back. I've left these overnight, come back to them. So now I'm going to continue with doing some of the collage and finishing the painting. So uh, let's dive in and get started with that. So um, I've got the canvas flat now, the first one. And I'm going to start um, use, you know, having a look at my different um, pictures here to see what I might use. Um, I was looking at this one. And a really um, easy way <laughs> to tear, or you could cut, but I like tearing better, the shapes that you want if you've got some paper. This is just actually copy paper, so it's fine for collage is with a with a wet um, brush you can just see where you want to go to tear the paper it's a really good trick so you can do it very easily look and get the shape that you want for your 
your um, collage. <laughs> it's really um, an easy way of doing it. And rather than straight line, I'm just going to have a look here. Um, I think I'm going to make this a bit more wobbly. So come here and down, take that off. <clears throat> it's a very easy way to, because um, sometimes when you tear it, it goes all over the place. <laughs> so that's better. Right. So I feel that this piece would be um, would work in here, and then I can blend it in, you know, with painting into the area. Um, I'm going to use uh, I've got a Liquitex um, gel here. It's actually brilliant gel, which I really like, and I'm going to use just a little brush here to. Um, put this on on the canvas here. So <clears throat> I'll carry on, and um, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. It's always so interesting to um, go through this process and see where it takes you, what comes into your mind as you're working, and. Um, going with that, you know, when you're asking yourself um, those questions, <laughs> um, you know, what pops up and to go with that flow. And it's very, um, it, what would you say? I would say that, you know, you're very present with what you're doing, which is a wonderful state of mind. It's very meditatory in, in many, um, in many ways. Um because you're you're allowing yourself in in that creative space and that's the thing that we have to have trust in <laughs> in many respects and that can be quite challenging to start with because you know the 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 thing in, that goes on in the back of our mind is you know is this right am i doing it right you know what's going to happen so really you have to kind of trust in your own intuition and this very much comes through practicing you know if you really um, do as many of these um, kind of paintings as you can um, you know even if you just start off in a, in a sketchbook and use it really consistently as your practice time till you feel confident to say okay I'm now going to do this on a canvas or I'm going to do it on a big piece of paper. So you're really kind of starting to use a different part of your brain that you, you know, you have, all of us have tended to disconnect from since we were, you know, children. As children, we would just do this naturally. We would just kind of scribble and draw and have fun without thinking about it. But Sadly, <laughs> most of us, not every, not everyone, but I would say the majority of people in my experience, you know, we've been kind of trained out of having that natural sponta spontaneity. So, you know, to retrain our brain, to go back into that space where we just enjoy and have fun and, oh, I'd like to do this and, oh, I feel like doing the other etc etc can really make a big difference to how you're feeling and only kind of practicing and allowing yourself that freedom to explore the possibilities will your confidence you know slowly but surely start growing such that you know when you come to a to doing a painting you know where to switch into if you know what I mean <laughs> and um, the emphasis very much is on fun and excitement, you know, that comes from knowing uh, how, how to access this really creative part of ourselves and, you know, to let go of our expectations. And that allows us to enjoy the spontaneity and the surprises um, that come with each of the drawings and paintings that we're doing. 
you know, intuitive painting really helps us develop our self awareness and our self trust and learning to listen to our inner voice and act on it. <laughs> Uh, I think this is a psychological <laughs> lesson more than an art lesson. But, you know, I hope that um, this is something that you can resonate with because so many people tend to be frightened of just letting go and seeing what happens. You know, that fear of ugh, crazy, really, the judgment aspect of it and is it good enough, blah, 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 blah. You know, we've really got to try and put that aside, but it's something that can tend to affect all of us with what we're doing. So the more we practice this, the more we can celebrate our wins in even the simplest um, creative drawing or painting that we do. And, um, you know, this regular practicing of intuitive painting can build that creative confidence over time, but not just in our, our in our art, but also in our life, um, as you can trust your instincts more. You know, in a funny kind of way, we're channeling our our real innate power <laughs> of our creativity and allowing that to develop, and it's a wonderful feeling. And we're not in a rush. Um, you know, it's it's a process and the process in itself says it, you going through different stages of learning and um, accepting. So uh, we want to not be in a rush to finish. We want to go with the flow, see where it takes us and really enjoy this whole process of creative of creativity um you know taking a break as you know i sort of step back from it myself maybe leave it overnight come back the next day have a look at it see what else you might see in it that you want to develop put another layer on put some drawing on whatever it is that you feel um is that feeling state is um is re really what we want to, that zone, that's the zone we want to be into. Um, you know, it an ev and it evolves slowly. And allowing that time um, for each of the layer of painting to speak to us so we can respond to it in a really um, more meaningful way. So we're, we're connected. You know, what we're putting on the paper are our, our emotions, our feelings. When I'm looking at this painting, you know, I know the, the emotions that are going on in me as I do this. And it's very interesting for me what it's presenting um, to me from a subconscious level of what's been going on in my life. <laughs> and it helps resolve those issues. And, you know, the, the, the latest paintings that I've been doing over the last few months have got a lot of figures in them, in different, you know, different poses and different positions, different feeling states. And those are all kind of situations that are going on around me in relationships with my family, etc. And it's wonderful because through this painting process, I'm actually resolving those issues because I start seeing it differently. I get a different perspective. And um, so it's not just the enjoyment of painting <laughs> it's the enjoyment of you know getting rid of our stress and our anxieties and resolving issues that you know are around all of us in one way or another none of us can avoid you know challenging situations <laughs> so the painting is such a wonderful outlet to um, help that process and help us understand it more so we can have a different perspective, a different view. You know, sometimes we can tend to have limited beliefs about what we think should, must and ought be. And when that doesn't hit that expectation, you know, we can get upset about it, understandably. But, you know, with our painting, we can maybe suddenly get an insight with a new perspective of the situation and I think that's really magical <laughs> so <laughs> end of this 
video which has gone on for quite some time but you know this thing this whole thing is a process and I know I've not finished um, either of them I'm very happy with the direction that they're going in but my process is I like to get to this stage and then leave it for a little while and then come back to them with fresh eyes and see I've got I've got the foundations plus a little more but I want to do a lot more to them. So that's going to be in the next video <laughs> coming up very soon. Um, but I, the purpose of this video was to show you the process, to show you how you can connect your creativity, you channel your artisticness, <laughs> if you like, by getting in the flow and allowing yourself to move forward. And you can see really how very different both paintings are, although I did them together. And my interpretation of it from a um, psychological point of view, I'm still meditating on. I'd be very interested to um, hear your um, take on it. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. Tell me how you feel about the process. What did you get from it? And is it something that you can use? You know, tell me because then I can add that uh, for you in the next video. And as always, <laughs> please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps uh, YouTube share this video to other uh, artists who are looking to learn. And as I said before, I'm nearly at 10,000 sus subscribers, so it's not going to cost you anything. Just press, press the right buttons. <laughs> that would be great. And all the links are in the description below for the, for the mini course, etc. So thanks for watching, coming all the way to the end. And I look forward to seeing you in part two very soon. Bye for now.